Keyboard Supreme Pete back, and today we have the release of the new patch, Minecraft Beta 1.3. So what can we expect in this new patch? Well, let's have a look. So I've got my crafting table here, I've spawned a bunch of resources, and we have some new half blocks. So these are wooden half blocks, you put three planks along the bottom, and you get some wooden half blocks. So I'm just going to make them into like sort of stairs. As you can see they stack on top of each other as well. Just like a normal wooden block plank thing. So the another type is sandstone. So we're going to do the same thing. So we've got sandstone half blocks. That's pretty cool. Another half block, we've got cobblestone. This used to make just stone slabs, but now it just makes cobblestone. So, yeah, it's a bit more difficult to get the nice looking stone slabs now. You need to actually make smooth stone and do it as before, like this, to make the old stone slabs. It's a bit annoying, but oh well. What can you do, really? Also, if you actually pickaxe a stack of two, you actually get two slabs back this time instead of just the one like before. So that was pretty cool. So what else have we got? We've got beds. To make beds, you put wall in the middle like that, and planks along the bottom, and it gives you a bed. And the bed actually looks pretty cool. I like these. The look of these beds, and with texture packs. They're going to be changed in various ways. And you can't actually get in these beds unless it's night time. So on single player, or if you're the only person on multiplayer, you can use the bed whenever you want and change time. But for it to turn to day on multiplayer, I believe you have to have every single person on the server in bed. So now, on to the next thing. We're going to make some redstone repeaters. You need redstone torches either side of the middle, redstone in the middle, and smooth stone along the bottom. So, I've made a couple of these, and they're directional, and they have four different settings. Like the first setting, like delays it one second, second two, third three, and the fourth four seconds. So you right click on that and it will change the settings. You can also put them like backwards to act as like a diode. I'm no good with redstone so... Yeah, I'm not really going to make anything special in this video for you unfortunately. But... It makes it a lot better now to make big redstone circuits and timers really fancy fancy stuff. I'm guessing people are going to make some really really nice stuff with this. And in combination with music blocks as well I can see how that can become really nice. As you can sort of like set up your music blocks in a good way. I'm also useless with music blocks as well so not really going to show you that. So not really much to show you in terms of the redstone stuff because I can't really make a circuit so I've showed you how to make it so you can go and make those so I'm gonna show you in a second like as it's dark now I can get in the bed and I'll show you what happens when you get in the bed when I've stopped pissing around with these Right, here we go, here's the bed. And you can leave bed when you want, but look at how fast it's, the night's going. It's, and it's daytime! Look at that, that is nice. So you're not going to get completely owned by monsters all the time. So this is going to be good for like, sort of my let's play thing. 
and yeah I really like the beds I'm waiting to see what's going to happen with the texture packs for beds they're going to be some really nice designs I'm guessing so I'm just going to mess around with this for no reason at all I really am useless for redstone. Anyway, this is not what you want to see. So also on this patch we have whitelisted on servers. So now you can add like a whitelist to your server. And also a new save file format. I've converted one row world already, which is world free. And you can rename your worlds. So World 3 is my Let's Play world, so I'm going to name it LP World. World 1 is my first ever world, so I'm going to name it First World. So when you log in it for the first time, it will convert that world into a better save file format, which hopefully will help reduce lag on multiplayer as well. There's also a new lighting option which I haven't seen any difference in my game when I changed that lighting option but there is probably something and I'm probably missing it right now. Also there's something about a new Mojang splash screen, you'll see that when you log in. And also there's scroll bars and your texture pack menus and your, your save file screen because now you can have more than five save files which is pretty awesome if you're the kind of person like me who downloads other people's maps and has a go so you can don't have to delete worlds to put these maps in anymore so I'm just gonna cut this bit out and I'm gonna look at one final thing this is the 3D mode I've 3D anaglyph you turn that on and you will see something really funky. You can, might need some 3D glasses for this. I don't know if it does anything because I don't have any 3D glasses, but have a look at that. Sort of like 3D world. L looks pretty cool. It's kind of funky. Nice little new feature there. And that is pretty much it for the new changes and Unless I've missed something secret, that is it. So, thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more Minecraft and other videos. That's it. Supreme Pete out.